Hey there, good looking. If you want to train your legs, this workout will do that. Hey, listen, this is more of an endurance workout, meaning that we will be doing higher reps with a lighter load for the entire workout. Now, you need some tools for this workout. So listen closely, because there's a couple of different sets of tools dependent on what you own already. First off, everybody needs a pair of moderate sized dumbbells. For reference, I'm using a pair of 12s. We also need a booty band. However, you can do um, without a booty band as well as a chair or a bench. Now, if you own a stability ball, pull that out. If you don't and you're on carpet, no worries, no added other equipment is needed for you. However, if you're working out on hardwood or laminate or tile, then I want you to grab a couple of towels so I can show you a workaround for the stability ball drill. However, there's also a workaround if you're working out on carpet or this type of gym flooring like I have. All right, that was a lot of info, so let's just get into the workout and start training. All right, let's go. Hello and welcome. Hey, I'm PJ Wren. I'm a certified personal trainer and have been for close to three decades specializing in the over 40 body. I'm so happy you're here. We'll chat more about what I do and how I can help you as we do the workout because I want to start this workout. Yeah? Awesome. Here we go. Let's get set up with our feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out, hands light behind the ears, and push the booty back and drop into a squat. Now, I want you to go down as deep as it feels comfortable for you and your knee joint. Um, knee joint. <laughs> Hopefully, you have two. But if you're able to, let's try and get and work ourselves to hamstrings, your bottom of your thigh there, parallel to your floor. So we're starting this workout with an EMOM every minute on the minute. It's 10 minutes. It's going to be a good one. And then we move into that endurance strength workout using the tools that I described at the beginning. Here we go. Last two. One more. Beautiful. Now I want you to soften one knee, mirror me, bend this leg and abduct it away, warming up into the hips and glutes. Find your balance by focusing on something stationary. Try to avoid holding on to something, okay? I do want you to work stability and balance. Now, this is not good. I'm already sweating, and we haven't even really started the warm-up. <laughs> Last one. It's really hot where I live right now, and I forgot to turn the AC on, so here we are. <laughs> sweating it out. Good. So when we lift up, we're still trying to keep that leg out to the side of the body. Beautiful. Last four and three and two. One. Perfect. Come down on all fours. If you do have sensitive knees, double up that mat of yours. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Straighten your left leg, flex the foot and push the heel up and down. Good. Activating into the glutes here, doing what we call hip extension. Your elbows may sort of soften a little bit as you lift that heel up, but I don't want you to swing that leg so that we lose that neutral spine of yours. Now let's do two more right here. Now lift it and hold it. Keep that foot flexed and bring the heel to the bum and straighten the leg. Warming up hamstring now. Now there are some squats in this workout, so I want you to work what's going to be comfortable for you. And then there is, when we get to the more um, strength-based endurance workout, there is a squat pattern, which those of you with really sensitive knees, I'll ask you to hold a wall sit. So sort of a static squat against a wall. Last two. And one. Good. All right. Right leg. Flex the foot. Hips are squared. And push the heel up. Two more. Now right here, lift, hold, flex the foot, heel to bum. Try to get that thigh parallel to your floor as best you can. I know you can't really see your leg back there, but I think you have a pretty good understanding whether you've dropped that leg and then to pick it up a bit more. Here you go, last four, three, two, one. All right, in this position, we're gonna learn our second exercise in our EMOM, which we're gonna start in less than a minute. High plank for me, push your bum back, knees a couple inches off the ground, and drive forward. This is called a prone squat. Now you'll see mini me do an elevated version if you need to 
modify it. Let's do two more here. Last one. And come on up. So yes, if you do need to modify it, what you'll do is place your hand either on a chair, that's what I'll be doing up in that corner, but it can be on a step, coffee table, bench, whatever elevates your hands to help you out. We start out minute one, we've got 10 rounds. Grab onto one, two, or no dumbbells. We have 10 squats here, going as deep as it feels comfortable for you, and then 10 of those prone squats. We gotta get that done in that one minute. Now you ready? Let's give it a try, ready? So the faster we do this, the longer break we have before minute two. And yes, we're doing 10 minutes. <laughs> Come on, keep those hands up. Don't let the dumbbells rest on the shoulders. You go down as deep as it feels good for your knees, remember. When you're done, and if you want to protect the wrists a little bit too, you can place your hands on a dumbbell and sit back. All right, Whew. so if you're done, just shake it out. We've got 10 seconds. We start from the top. Now, if this rep count is way too much for you, let's cut it down to eight reps, okay? And see how that feels. All right, squats, go. Bum pushes rearward, knees track with toes, chest up, head up. Now, I want you to take a look at where the wall and ceiling are meet. Prone squat, wrists under shoulders, feet apart, sit your bum back. When you're done, shake it out. So again, eight reps if you need a little longer break. Get rid of the dumbbells too if the squatting is too much with the weight. We have 10 seconds, minute three coming up. Whew. Whew. Ready, go. Knees tracking with the toes. Again, don't let those dumbbells rest on your shoulders. You're strong in the shoulders and arms with them. Woo. This is no joke, you guys. <laughs> Woo. Okay. <laughs> All right, in 10 seconds, we do it again. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go. Again, decrease that range of motion, how deep you're going with both moves, right? Whew. Okay, <laughs> that burned. All right, in less than 10 seconds, we're going again. So, feet shoulder width apart, maybe a bit wider. Strong with the hands, go. Eight or 10.
<sighs> Remember, we've got that option too, to go body weight for the squat. All right, less than 10 seconds. Get yourself set up. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy. Woo. We got this at home, come on. Those get really burny. <laughs> That's the medical term, burny. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Now, when you're doing the prone squat, feet mat width, head past the fingertips, knees stay close to the mat as you sit the bum back. Whew. Ah. We slow things down after the imam, okay? We also do less knee bends, working more into the hammies. All right, we're on our final three now. Hands up, or no weight if you're getting tired, and go. Ooh, I'm starting to slow down. We got this though, okay? But it's naturally gets slower as the Iman progresses. Woo! Oh! Stick with me at home, I promise you. It gets better. <laughs> All right, last two. Feet shoulder width or wider. One, two dumbbells, up to you, and go. Eight or 10 reps, okay? Knees track with toes, good. Pushing the bum rearward, hinging to the hip. Ooh. March it out when you're done. Okay, we're moving on to our final one in 10 seconds. So let's get set up. You know the drill. Three, two, one, let's do it. When you're done, march it out. When we hear that timer go, we'll grab some water. We'll cheer on our fellow workout partners that are all around the globe. Oh, 
Okay, come on. Come on. You guys got this. Woo. 15 seconds left. Let's go. 10 seconds. Beautiful. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's the warm up. <laughs> Just joking. A little trainer humor there. That is not the warm up. <laughs> that was a freaking workout. Whew. So we need to grab some water. We're changing up the sets in time. All right. And as mentioned, I'm going to show some variations for future squats that we are going to do in this workout in case your knees are feeling a little sensitive. Okay, our first one's a goblet squat. We're just going to use one dumbbell. It's held like so. Feet are wide, toes are turned out. You drop down as deep as it feels comfortable. If you're getting a little tired of the squats, you're going to see Mini-Me hold a wall sit, in which is isometric, no knee um, flexion. You just hold it, all right? Second exercise will be a deadlift, which I'm going to talk you through when we get to it. So let's grab just one dumbbell. Toes turned out, feet wide, all right? Ready? Now take it down as deep as it feels comfortable, and then drive up. Now pick up the tempo a little bit, as mentioned in the intro. We want this to be more of an endurance, so we've got a lighter load than I normally would cue you, and we're gonna add more reps. We have different fibers within the entire body, including the legs, what they call fast twitch and slow twitch. Today, whew, we're working a little bit more on the slow twitch side. Now after we're done this, if you're doing the wall sit, you're gonna come join us. A dumbbell in each hand. We've got a deadlift pattern. Time. All right. We've got the dumbbells. Now let's bend the knees and grab them together. All right, feet shoulder width apart. Pull the shoulders back and down and really brace through the core and drive up. And then come down by pushing the bum back and drive up. So we're hinging through the hip so there's no movement in the spine positioning. We started from the ground so that you can really activate your mid-back muscles and shoulder muscles to hold on to the dumbbells and then get a sort of feel of what that activation feels like so that you can maintain it through the set. If you're uncomfortable with the feet this wide, you know, bring them in. I want you to find what's going to work best for you. Every movement pattern is going to be unique to your body shape and how your joints and your anatomy are. Let's do one more here. And time. Okay, so we're going to do two more rounds of that. So, goblet squat, and again, you can perform the goblet with no weight. Or if the knees are just getting tired and you need a break, you'll do a wall sit, going as low as it feels comfortable. Ready? And go. Now the wall sit, again, as mentioned, it's called an isometric exercise, meaning that we are working the quad without moving into the knee joint. So you move the knee joint to get in position and then you just hold it there. Your heels should be underneath the knees, bum, upper back, and back ahead should be touching your wall. And you can definitely hold on to your dumbbell in your lap to make it more challenging. Now take a look if you're squatting with me, are the knees going with the toes? Good job, you. Dumbbell held close to the body so we don't strain the low back. And then once you've seen your body positioning, head up, chest up. Last couple of reps here. One more. Beautiful. Bend the knees. Get the dumbbells in position. All right. Feet shoulder width, hip width. Or bend the knees. Grab onto the dumbbells. Pull the shoulders back and down. And then drive up. Softness in the knees now. Now the only joint really moving is the hip. Pushing the seat rear, trying to touch your wall behind you while you lengthen from the tailbone all the way to the top of the head. Dumbbells, once again, are staying close to the body, just like I cued you on the goblet squat, making it nicer on your low back. Standing all the way for me. And picking up the tempo as best you can while still maintaining your form. So if you got to go slower on this one and get fewer reps in, I'm totally okay with that. I would rather you have great form 
One more. Fewer reps in great form. I would rather that. All right, we've just got one more of each, and then we're moving on. Here we go. I am going to need another shower after this. Ready, set, and go. Trying to take it down again as deep as it feels comfortable for you and your knee joints. If we can get thighs past parallel, all right, you're going to load your quadriceps even further. But again, that's all dependent on your knees. The good news is this is our last squat pattern for the entire workout. Last one. Woo. All right. We'll position the dumbbells so they're end to end. Feet are just behind the posts. All right. Now let's push your bum back. Bend the knees. So we've got that neutral spine. Grab onto the dumbbells. Pull the shoulders back and down. And then begin. For the entire workout, we have a couple of different movement patterns per circuit, three rounds. Feel free to bend the knees. You'll see me, I've got my knees bent as I'm pushing my bum rearward. Time right here. All right, you're gonna grab the stability ball. If you don't have one and you're on that laminate or hardwood surface, you'll place two towels underneath your heels, get set up the same way. If you're on carpet, you'll get in a bridge with your heels close to your bum and walk out like I'm doing up there. Everybody else, bum up. Good, if you've got your heels on towels, you're gonna to extend the legs out first and then pull them in. It's really tough, so just extend them a little bit and then pull it in, digging your heels into that towel. If you're with me with the stability ball, arms down by your side, squeeze into the glutes, balls underneath the lower leg and foot, keeping the hips up, everybody, for the entire 45 seconds, no matter what version you've chosen. Feeling hamstrings, you might feel calves time if you're here on the, on the uh, ground with me. The next one, butterfly bridges, so no tools needed. Insoles of your feet together, knees are open. Drive the hips up and then lower till the bum just barely touches your ground and then back, drive up again. So we're not letting the bum rest and letting those legs open up. Hence the term butterfly crunches. Now really putting some isolation into the glutes here. Whew. And those are our two moves. And they're pretty brutal combo, aren't they? <laughs> Hang in there. We've got this. We've got this. Time, whoo. All right, let's cherish this little rest period in between. Now your heels either go back onto the towel, towels or lower legs on the ball or heels in close and walk out your bridge like you see me do there. The further you walk out, the more challenging it is for the hamstrings. So you can dial back the intensity as you need to. Everybody keeps their tush up though, no matter what you decided to do. If you ever get an opportunity and you don't own a stability ball, I really recommend it. They are a bit of a space hog, I, I do understand that, but they're great for a lot of moves. Last 10 seconds, woo baby.
time. Whoa, like I said, this workout's no joke. <laughs> All right, everybody's down on the floor with me. Let's open up those knees, arms down by your side. And my feet, my insoles are literally touching. Now we're driving the hips up, giving that booty a squeeze, and then lowering until it just hits the ground. So there's not a lot of lift, right? We're not able to lift the glutes as high as we do with the feet on the ground flat. So don't try to get a lot of lift or think you're doing it wrong if you're not able to get very high. Any time now, timer. <laughs> I think it forgot about us. <laughs> time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Were you with me on that? Kind of like, what the heck? All right. Final round, okay? So hamstring curl, however you've chosen to do it. Let's get the arms down by the side, hips up, and do it. I thought time was supposed to go faster as we get older. Sometimes it doesn't when we're doing these sets, does it? <laughs> Just slows down. <laughs> so this is our last set. We'll move on after this. And we're almost done the workout, okay? We're doing great. With the exception of that timer. Okay, no more of those. No more. <laughs> Go away, ball. Actually, that wasn't that bad. I actually like that one. That's one of the first exercises I ever did with a stability ball when I bought one, gosh, uh, 28 years ago. It was the first piece of fitness equipment I purchased was a stability ball. And no, that's not the original one. <laughs> the original popped a long time ago. <laughs> They're a lot <laughs> better constructed now. They weren't anti-burst back then, meaning that if you rolled on a tack or something, you just, def it didn't deflate slowly, it def popped like a balloon. <sighs> Whew, time, all right, you come on up. Now, we want that chair, okay? And we also want the tubing around the tops of the knees. Now, the timer is going to go, so just ignore it. Okay. All right. See, we're just ignoring it. All right. Now, if you need to hold on to something, go for it. Pick a leg, bend at the knee, just like warm up, abduct out. Join me as soon as you can. Don't worry if you've missed a few reps, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> In the big scheme of things, we'll make it up, I promise. So we've got each side to perform, and then we'll do a seated hip abduction, in which, as mentioned, you can sit in a chair or a bench if that's what you have available to you. Now, the leg that's stationary, you are definitely going to feel it in the hip. We want softness in that knee. Working knee is bent, and just like warm-up. Bringing it out away from the side. Woo! All right. Now, I, did re I do recommend latex for this because I want you to be able to get a good range of motion. Cloth, you might not get as high up, and I do want a greater range for this exercise. All right. So, if you have options, you know, let's get that on. So this series is focusing all on our outer hips, which is a super important muscle group, no matter what age you are, but I find that those of us as we're in our 50s and 60s, these muscles can kick out because we're not using them as much as we should in normal life. And that can cause a lot of instability in the hips, low back, as well as your knees. Oh. Whew. Let's do one more. 
Oh, oh, all right, seated, and you may have to fix your tubing. It might be all rolled like mine is, which is really uncomfortable, and that's one of the downfalls of latex. All right, knees bent at 90, and I want you to sit up tall and then lean back slightly. Keep the feet together and just open up the knees. So we're leaning back a tad, good, and opening up the knees, and the inside of the foot's going to lift off. But now we're focusing again, that higher rep count. So once you understand the movement and you can feel the muscles we're training, the outer hip, let's see if you can pick up the tempo. Last 20 seconds and then we take it from the top again with that standing leg abduction. But yeah, latex does roll and it's, yeah, it's uncomfortable. But you know what, you'll live. I promise you, <laughs> time. <laughs> I've been working with latex bands longer than I've been working with cloth. Whew, all right, you ready? Of course you are, here we go. I like to hold on to something on this one, so give it a try yourself. Stabilizing leg is soft, abduct away. Whew. Again, we want that tubing above the knee. We're never placing tubing around a joint. And then we want toes, knees, hips, and shoulders pointed straight ahead, so we're not rotating the body as we lift the leg up. No, 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 no. Good. I want you to ground yourself on this leg. Yes, you are definitely going to feel it on this leg here, that stationary. Yes, yes, and yes. You're supposed to. Okay. Whew. Am I being too shouty? Somebody accused me of being shouty. Loud and shouty. <laughs> uh... Whew. Time. Oh. You haven't trained with me in person. I can be loud and shouty then. <laughs> but I'm a lot of fun. Whew. All right, here we go. Softness in the knee. Ready? And go. There's a reason I had wait list for all my classes. <laughs> So again, toes, knees, hips, shoulders square to me. Be strong on the stabilizing leg. Whew. Last couple of reps and then seated hip abduction. Time. All right, have a seat. Now, sit nice and tall, ankles and knees Line, lined up, feet together. Now I want you to sit up tall. So we leaned back the first round and now bring your hands and sit up nice and tall. Okay, so we've got shoulder and hips lined up and stay with this. So we do have to activate our core, even seated doing this leg exercise. If you didn't, you would lose that lower lumbar curve. So this is kind of cool. We're getting an ab workout and you're probably not even aware of it. So but it's making me really happy that I'm able to train your abs while we do this. <laughs> and as your trainer, I want this to happen for you. Beautiful. Okay, let's pick up the tempo. We've got last 10 seconds. Breathe. Still sitting nice and tall. One more. Woo! All right, one more of each and then we're done the workout. Trainers promise. Here we go. Be strong with this, okay? Toes, knees, hips, shoulders squared to me. Now bend this outside leg, good. Bring it out and in. I just looked at my watch. I was really hoping I could keep this workout under 35 minutes. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I don't do my workouts justice on YouTube or Over 50 Fitness because we do extended warm-ups and mobility and the cool-downs. It makes my workout time longer, so when, you know, you're busy or you're just looking for a workout and you see 45 minutes, you're like, ew, no, I don't want to do that. But trust me, if it's my workout, you're not working, <laughs> you're not busting your ass for the full 45, okay? I'm making sure you get the full meal deal. <sighs> 
time, which is what we need again when we're over 40, 50, 60, and my amazing seven-year-olds who are hanging with me. Yes, I'm talking to you, Ellen. Here we go. She outlifts me. She let me know. <laughs> and I am damn proud of it. <laughs> and of her. Oh, it's mainly the stabilizing leg. I know. I totally understand, and I am with you. And this is good, right? Because we do need to strengthen for our hips to stabilize us, which is what this one here is doing for you. This guy here is the working leg. It's the movement leg. One more. Whew. All right. This is it. Last exercise. All right. So, Ankles and knees lined up, feet are together, hands down by your side, and I want you to hinge forward with a neutral spine, and now. So yes, believe it or not, we can hit different fibers of your outer hip muscles by challenging where our upper body is in space. So we started leaning back, upright, and now forward. This is it. Come on. See if you can pick up the tempo. Last exercise. We will stretch in less than 20 seconds. We are in this together, you and I. Come on. Woo-hoo. Yep. Starting to... Woo! Time. I'm watching that clock. I know I'm getting tired when I'm watching the clock. Beautiful job, you at home. All right. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Wipe your brow if you need it. I know I wish I had my towel here so I could wipe my brow. Whew. All right, we are going to stay seated for this stretch. We're going to show you a lovely stretch that you can do seated. So if, for instance, you can't get up and you really need to stretch out your hip, here's a couple of good drills for you. So where that could really happen is on a plane, right? I did... um a plane Air France. They have plane workout on the screen. And um, I was like, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. It was fun. It was fun. All right, let's take your left leg, cross it over, sit up nice and tall, lean forward and feel that release in that left hip. The further forward you lean, the more intense the stretch. Now your other ankle and knee are lined up. You're nice and tall in the spine and we're leaning through that hip joint again. Whew. So I really appreciate you hanging with me. I know you have a lot of choice out there, so I'm always thankful that it's, uh, yeah, that it's my workouts that you're choosing. If you're new to me and you'd like to continue working out with me further, I would love that. There's a few things you can do. First, the biggest thing anyone can do if you're here on YouTube is click that subscribe button. That really does help the channel and the algorithm. Good old algorithm. And second, if you want to stay on YouTube, you can move on over to our Patreon community and help support the channel and get extra perks because of that. Or if you want to try all these workouts as well as 12 other amazing instructors that I personally handpicked, come and join us on Over 50 Fitness. There's a free 14-day trial down below. All right, now pull this knee in towards the opposite armpit with the hand, bring the left behind, sit up nice and tall and look over. So those are a couple of ways you can keep working with me. If you're still a little unsure, I've got a free 21-day program down below. You just need to sign yourself up, and we'll send you 21 of my best workouts that you can do at home. And in a series that makes the most sense so that all the muscles can rest when they need to and so that you see best results. All right, other side. Whew. Sit up nice and tall. Good. Whew. This side's a little tighter for me. So our dominant side tends to be tighter, so our, more, our stronger side. It's a general rule of thumb, though. All right, bring that in, sit up nice and tall, rotate, look over that right shoulder now while we're pulling that right knee in towards the left armpit, stretching more into the glute now. Good. 
Good, bring the feet apart. If you're comfortable flexing your spine, join me down. If you're not, I want you to give me a spinal extension instead doing this stretch. Otherwise, join me down here. Let the head drop. Couple of deep breaths. If you're down here with me, hands on the top of your thighs, use the arms to roll yourself up, vertebrae by vertebrae, the head the last to pull up. Final stretch into the hamstrings, let's use the top of our chair. Take your right leg on top, push your hip back, so you want to push back while you lean forward, okay, so we're trying to sort of separate the um, hip bone away from the knee create space in that leg and you're going to get a better stretch than if you just kept the bum tucked under and then rounded the spine and did your lean. So bum goes back as you lean forward. That's a lovely stretch. Let's do the other side. So same thing. You want to sit your bum back as you lean forward. Hands going to rest on top of your thigh, not pressing down on that poor knee joint. And then come on up. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to reading your comments down below. We'll see you next workout. Hey there, good looking. If you're looking for general conditioning of your lower body, so working more endurance, like high reps, low weight. Nope. Yes, yes, high reps. <laughs> Honest, I know what I'm doing. Hey, good looking. Join me for this leg workout in which we start off with a bang and then we continue on all the way to the end to a fizzle. <laughs> we also start out with an every minute on the minute EMOM to get our legs ready for the workout after. Now you need, this is really long, so long. If you're on carpet, don't worry, I'm going to show you another option. I know this is a lot, but hang in there with me. We're almost there. <laughs> we also need a booty band, preferably a latex, but if you have a cloth, that will work. And, um, oh, I was doing so good. And then an and, um, and then an and, um, 